Hello Year 11, this video is going to talk you through your second English task, specifically the advanced course. Okay, so if you have a look at your gold sheet, you'll see some of the preliminary information on the front page. So for this assessment task, which is your second one, we are assessing the module Narratives That Shape Our World. Um, it is the multimodal, which means it has a digital component and it is weighted at 40%. You'll see there that it is due on Thursday the 15th by 4 p.m. Similar to your first assignment, it will be digitally submitted and I'll explain a little bit more of that um, a little later on. You can see there the outcomes that we're assessing and we're obviously handing it out this week, week two. Okay, so the task is to write and record a podcast. Your podcast should reveal your own personal understanding of the module, which is module A, narratives that shape our world, and your prescribed text. So obviously you'll need to make very detailed reference to Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five. So when we think about the module, module A, I'd encourage you to go back to that module description that's in the front page of your booklet. You can also access it online. And have a think about what the purpose of this unit is. Think about what Module A is asking of you. And obviously you need to be very comfortable with the novel. So we're looking for detailed, deep understanding of Kurt Vonnegut's novel, Slaughterhouse-Five. Now with those two things in mind, the module and the text, you need to answer this question. The question is, the lasting appeal of Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five lies in the novel's ability to not only disrupt assumptions, but to completely challenge the way we see the world. Do you agree? Discuss with detailed reference to the prescribed text. Okay, so the question is what we all have in common in advance. We're looking at how the novel challenged or disrupted assumptions. Now, when we think about assumptions, you know, preconceived ideas, but Vonnegut went further than just challenging our assumptions. He challenged audiences to completely reshape to completely reconsider even the cosmic makeup of our universe and the way we see the world. Now, when you think about module A, narratives that shape the world, you can see how this fits. Now, the question very specifically says, do you agree? We actually want to hear your interpretation. We wanna hear your personal voice, your ownership of ideas. And we want you to back that up and validate that argument with really detailed textual reference from the novel. Now, those of you that are out there listen to podcasts, you need to think about what makes those podcasts engaging. Now, for some of you, for your first assessment task, that was some of the feedback. You might have had good ideas, but you weren't really aware of audience and audience engagement. So be conscious of that when designing your podcast. To make it interesting, you might want to play roles. So you can claim to be a professor of literature from Harvard University and be interviewing, you know, some other specialist or someone from a publishing house, you can be creative with it and perhaps interview Vonnegut himself or a descendant of Vonnegut. Perhaps they're putting a new stage production of this, they're making it into a theatre production and you're going to interview the cast. Whatever you do, you as the student and the author of this task must have a speaking role. Now it's not going to be published for everyone to hear, so you must have ownership of your ideas. We want you to get comfortable with confident voice. Now the timing is tight, three and a half to four minutes. Your podcast will be stopped at four minutes, meaning we won't listen to anything beyond four minutes and that doesn't get marked. So you need to be really careful with the timing. Now we are asking you to submit two things for this assignment. The transcript so the typed up word document transcript is going to go to turn it in that's our way of checking plagiarism but the audio so what we're actually listening to is going to go onto a unique specific google classroom page so it's not your normal english classroom the code is here for you to join so that all of year 12 advanced are going to put their assignment onto there so you'll need to join the class and upload it again very aware that at four o'clock it closes, Turnitin will close. And if you load it past four o'clock for Google Classroom, it's gonna come up with a big red late from me, which unless you've got a legitimate reason like some terrible illness, you'll be getting an immediate zero. 
There is no more flexibility. You know the rules now for year 11. Now you are going to have an opportunity for feedback. Your teachers will be accepting a transcript. So just the, print, the printed record, um, details of what will be said, not the recording. We're gonna give you feedback on the written part first so you can make changes before you go away and do the audio recording. They will be submitted to your teacher no later than the 1st of June. So that gives us time to give feedback and for you to action change. Your teacher will talk to you about how to submit that. Okay, now let's just have a quick look at the assessment criteria. There are three criteria we're assessing. We'll zoom in on section, the top section, the A range. So the first criteria is how well you can compose an insightful argument addressing the question. So my clue is obviously you have to answer the question. If you're writing about some other idea and not the question, you're not going to get the top band for this outcome. But insightful argument, what do we mean by that? And we mean we want you to be brave. We actually want you to have something to say about this text, an interpretation of meaning, an argument, not just stuff you know, but it's cohesive, it comes together, and you're going to prove that argument over those four minutes of the podcast. We want you to present insightful response that's supported by detail and evidence. So that's what we mean by well-chosen textual references. That means evidence, quotes from the book, analysis from the book. We want you to analyze how meaning has been created. So what devices Kurt Vonnegut has used to communicate message. So you've got to know the text. You want to select the evidence to validate your argument. So you select the best quotes to prove the point you're trying to make. And lastly, in English, it's always about your control of language. So the academic nature of your voice, you've got mature vocabulary, do you have control of expression? But the added thing for this assessment is that you need to be writing in the podcast form. So being aware of podcast language. So it is engaging um, that you are, you know, the question and answer structure. All right, so your teachers can go over that if you have any more questions. So a few last hints. Obviously, you need to know the text. The novel is quite complicated. I would encourage you to re-engage with the novel. If you need to, read it again and read widely about the novel. The good thing about Kurt Vonnegut is there's so much literary work out there. There's people that are actual writers, you know, professional authors and journalists writing about this novel. Engage with those pieces. Because you have to you record a podcast, listen to podcasts. Get comfortable with that style and that voice and that form. And be detailed with how you prepare for this. So I've put some ideas down. I would start with a clean piece of paper. I'd write the question in the middle and I would annotate all around it to get some ideas down. So what are the ideas that I already have in my mind that I want to bring to the page? Then as I research and read more, I might add more to that document. Then I would think, looking at that piece of paper, what do I really want to say about the text? What do I personally want to communicate to my listeners in this podcast? And then I'd scaffold my response. It might feel easier if you think about it being a little bit like an essay in the preparing set stage. And then the question can be your topic sentence. And then the answer is part of the body. There's ways we can help you do that. Now, a lot of you might have noticed that in your, your assessment task that you just got back for, for your first to task, how many editing errors there were. So we really want to see that you carefully draft this, you edit your work carefully so that there's quality of expression, that there's a fluidity to your voice, that it's not clunky. So we would encourage you to read it out loud even before you start recording to check that it sounds good. Now, if you have any other questions, please talk to your classroom teachers. If you have questions about misadventure and all of those sort of things, you can come and see me. Good luck, Year 11, and work hard. Thank you.